Yes, guys, the bulls are finally showing some life here and we see a potential bounce area unfolding right now when I look at the Bitcoin price. But that doesn't mean that we are out of the woods just yet. So there are specific levels that we still have to look at. Um, to the upside and to the downside um, to move into either direction. And that is something that we want to talk about today. And uh, yeah, my hair looks a little bit messy. I was lying on the couch earlier, so don't sweat that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, um, then definitely make sure that you subscribe, like this video and also activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these important videos. And now let's directly jump here into the charts. Uh, when we are looking here at our uh, four hourly chart so you can see that right now it looks like bitcoin is bouncing from the golden ratio that we have here so if you entered a short as i told you two days ago um in the in the video we still have some room here to the upside for our potential stop loss because this can still turn around to the downside so i don't want to exclude that possibility so if you take a hit here it will be just a small one uh, because the reward if it turns around is of course way higher uh, than the uh, ass uh, assumed risk that we are taking here um, i will be completely transparent i'm right now in a long position but i'm of course closely watching what's happening around this area here because if we are not uh, seeing here a distinctive bounce back to the upside above twenty two thousand and seven hundred dollars so even uh, slightly above here that resistance block then chances are high that we're still going lower and i'm gonna show you that also in a second so when we go here to the daily chart also here we we see that we are bouncing from this area of support here which i have also um lined out here so that is exactly the level that we are bouncing off from and of course from that uh, falling wedge here that i had shown you a couple of days ago uh there from the bottom we see now finally a bounce the a bullish hidden divergence has has still not played out here on the daily chart and the stochastic rsi is also in high highly oversold condition so a bounce might uh, might be here imminent for uh, bitcoin and that could be the first um sign that we're gonna get it if we close today's daily candle as it is right now the chances are high that we see um a morning star pattern where another green candle is coming here up to confirm that pattern and then we will see a reversal back to the upside but we still have here almost nine hours left to see what's going to happen here so for now this area of support on the uh, pivot points is holding as it looks like so and that is of course good news for us and of course also for my long position so now we are dropping here a little bit so it was up 350 dollars when i opened um uh, sorry when i started the video you see uh, 150 dollars right now in profit so it's almost um a 160 thousand dollar position that i have here um on 4x leverage i don't want to over leverage in um, a spot like that so i'm really careful here and you should be too so but if it's playing out then i'm gonna take initial profits around twenty three thousand five hundred dollars and um on the way up but for now i'm gonna let it run uh, yeah there you see here's my first take, take profit point twenty three thousand one hundred dollars there i will take some profits and then i let the rest run so i will definitely close that trade if it goes like minus five percent that would, would be a point where i would um yeah hit the break and uh take my loss and just wait then for another opportunity to to long uh the potential higher low here on the daily chart because when we're looking at it, so here we have a low, here we have a low. So let uh, so here a higher low, higher low. So this here would be still a higher low. It's still higher than this one here. So we are keeping um, not really a bullish structure if you look at it overall, but at least a neutral structure right right now. So and. Um, yeah, so we have to see what's happening here today. And uh, depending on the next two, three days, I'm going to decide what I'm going to do with my long position here. If you also want to trade with me together, guys, don't forget, Bybit still has $30,000 absolutely for free if you sign up with my specific link. 
and also join my free telegram group i post most of my trades that i do on bybit absolutely for free also in my telegram group and then um i have of course a lot of altcoin trades there in my paid signal group also the link is in the pin coin below and in the description below and if you don't like bybit uh, or you are in the us you can use bitget and there you sk still get twenty thousand dollars if you sign up with this specific link so when we are going then here into the one hourly chart and what we can see here is a lot of wicks in this area to the downside which is in the short term a good sign because it shows that around $21,500 the bulls trying to step in and to hold the price afloat that we don't go lower. So that is definitely um, a good sign. Also, when we look here at this uh, triangle, at this continuation pattern has already played out here. So if we measure this move, uh, just let me make this more clear. So there you see here we broke down so we have hit this technical target already so but i have some concerns here with the stochastic rsi because this is already highly overbought so we could see some more chop sideways here in that area well the uh, while the short-term indicators are coming down because the long-term indicators are all oversold so there is definitely a major bounce coming in the next coming days so but it doesn't mean that we cannot go first all the way down to twenty thousand seven hundred twenty one thousand dollars around that area or even step through that so that is still something that's in the cards from the shorter time frames that uh, that we have here so we should keep this definitely in mind also here on the four hourly chart uh, here on this one we are exactly in our bounce range that i was talking about a, uh, a while back and here the stochastic rsi is pointing to the upside for the last uh, yeah roughly 50 minutes that we have so it looks not uh, not too bad and now you understand maybe why my target is at twenty three thousand one hundred dollars because the point of control on the vpvr is around twenty two thousand nine hundred dollars so we could see a, a wick to the upside before we then f come further down potentially and uh, that is uh, basically the strategy that i'm playing here right now that we get a bounce from this area all the way up to the point of control potentially go higher to the top of it and there is also my take profit point and then either come down again and break this or that we come down a little bit here to 22,400 go sideways go up and continue so that is um, the game plan that I have for the time being but of course also the EMA ribbons have to flip here back into an uptrend so we are still here in a clear downtrend um, and we don't see any signs that they are making like a rounding shape to turn around to flip here bullish. So and um, yeah, that's why we have to be here really, really careful. Uh, so there was something. Yes. Yeah, so here on the daily chart, I wanted to show you guys something uh, which is also concerning. So here you can already see what I'm talking about. Let me make this orange a little bit more thick. So you see here, we are right now trading under the 200 daily moving average on the daily chart. And that will be a make or break point uh, today to see where we are heading over the next couple of uh, days and weeks. Because if we lose the 200 EMA as support, then um, we should be definitely, definitely looking for a potential drop to the $20,000 level uh, to close the CME gap or potentially even lower. While I'm still not believing that we're gonna uh, move lower than the low that we have here, which was potentially the bottom. I don't believe that we go as low as that. So, but here around these support areas that we see here, somewhere in between we could fall into if we don't manage to close above the 200 uh, daily moving average here. Uh, yeah by today's daily close guys that's it already for today's episode again thank you so much for watching don't forget smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and you'll see you then again tomorrow